Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. We're gonna do a living like Barbie for a week kind of video. I am so excited about the Barbie movie. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to watch this movie. You guys know my favorite color is pink and this entire movie is all pink and so I just feel like it is the perfect movie for me and obviously we love Barbie. I will be honest, I was a Bratz girl growing up. I definitely had more Bratz than I had Barbies. Every day we're gonna do something different, um, something pink themed, something that gets us in the Barbie spirit. So if you guys are interested in today's video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe for more, and let's get into it. Today we're gonna get our nails done. My nails are so bad, I literally just broke one right now, so we need to like go and get them fixed. Speaking pink, like, I mean, come on, I'm gonna look on Pinterest and see what inspo I have, but I'm kind of thinking pink chrome. I don't know if I wanna do light pink or hot pink. No, we're doing chrome again. If you know, you know. <laughs> Let me show you guys my outfit. This t-shirt is from PacSun, and I love it. I'm wearing some white biker shorts because it has been so hot lately that I just needed biker shorts. I'm wearing my yeah. pink and white Nikes. Also going to bring my Barbie fanny from Sony Clover because I haven't used it yet, and I just feel like this is the perfect time to use it. So let's go to the nail salon. today have been not the vibe but I did get my nails done yesterday literally my nose is so red I actually went to the nail salon before work got my toes done and they didn't have time to do my hands so I went to work and then after work I went and got my nails done did a baby pink chrome I think it looks really cute and it almost looks neutral it's not like a bright pink or anything so now we are all set and Barbie ready today we're going to try the pink berry Barbie dessert I am such a big fan of frozen yogurt and I don't know if you guys remember this it's definitely an era of frozen yogurt being so popular like i felt like there were so many places like a wild berry tutti frutti pink berry like i don't know there were just so many places that you could go and get frozen yogurt and i was obsessed and i feel like i always say this i'm not like a huge dessert person i don't really like ice cream like i do but i'm never like oh my gosh i could really go for some ice cream right now i definitely crave more like a sherbet frozen yogurt kind of vibe if that makes sense i definitely am a big fan of frozen yogurt and so i'm really really excited to try the barbie frozen yogurt because it's pink obviously it's a blend of strawberry and dragon fruit flavored frozen yogurt with dream sprinkles and it has sprinkles and it looks like sparkles it looks really good i'm not gonna lie so i'm really excited to try this it's probably the most exciting thing that we're gonna try this week so i need to pick out a barbie outfit here's the outfit that we are going with today i'm wearing this top from princess polly these pants are princess polly this like off the shoulder sweater is from uh, h and M. I'm wearing Disney jewelry for my Barbie outfit. I mean, I just can't stay away. And these earrings are like little hearts from PacSun. A Barbie scrunchie from Stony Clover. I have my little Cassie bracelet from Bobble Bar. I feel like this has been my go-to bag. It's my Stony Clover Jumbo Fanny. I don't think I've shown you guys this bag. I got it on sale on Shopbox. I've been literally using this to death. It matches every outfit that I wear because it's like a pastel pink. I'm wearing these sunglasses from Marshalls. We're gonna head to Pinkberry. I do want to get some lunch first, but I'm gonna get to Pinkberry and try out the new dessert. I hope it's so good. <laughs> just got the Barbie frozen yogurt. I already tasted it and it's like already melting, but it has like all these like little sprinkles and stars. It tastes like yogurt. Like I don't know what flavor, but it just tastes like yogurt. I mean, it like makes sense because it's a frozen yogurt, but then I got another one with some strawberries in it because you can add whatever toppings you want, not just like the sprinkles that come with it and but taste it together is good with the strawberries okay i would definitely recommend i would give this a 10 out of 10. the little cup that it comes in is so cute it is currently wednesday and if you see smoke coming 
It's from my humidifier, and I don't know if you can tell, but I sound really congested. It's because of my allergies. They've been so bad, like yesterday. They were terrible. Today, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I need the humidifier on to survive. I was gonna go and try one of the Krispy Kreme donuts today, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow instead because I just needed sleep from my allergies. I was like, I just need to sleep in. I don't have time. I do have work today. I have work every day, so um, it just like made more sense to just stay home, but I do wanna do, I do wanna do a haul of some Barbie items that I've purchased or that were gifted to me because I feel like you guys would really enjoy them. So let's do that right now. We're gonna start with the things I picked up at PacSun. so many Barbie collabs like I think that's like the big talk on TikTok right now is the amount of Barbie collabs that there have been I think from all of the clothing ones I've seen I think the Paxa one is my absolute favorite I was gonna order things online and then by the time I decided I was gonna order it um some of the things sold out in my size so then I was like okay I guess I need to go in the store and I actually got pretty lucky which was a sleigh first thing is this sweatshirt it is so cute how cute and diverse is this Barbie sweatshirt I think I talked about this before I wasn't really a big Barbie person growing up mainly because the Barbies when I was a kid were like blondes and and that is not me. I'm clearly very mixed. So I loved Bratz more because Bratz felt more inclusive. Now, I recently went to Target and I saw that there's so many different kinds of Barbies, which is really cool. It's really cool to see that they have that because I just feel like Barbie is just so iconic. Bratz isn't really a thing anymore. So it's really cool that they have become more inclusive over time. I wasn't a huge Barbie fan growing up. However, I did love the Barbie movies. Barbie movies were so good. My favorite one was Princess and the Popper. Still my favorite Barbie movie to this day. It's so good. Anyways, all that to say, I was really excited to see this sweatshirt that had a black Barbie. And this girl in the middle, I can't tell if she is Latina or if she's Asian. I don't know. But she is a woman of color. And I am into it. It's like really was just so happy when I saw this. Sweatshirt is actually already oversized. So I did get this in a medium and it fits like a large. It's just something for you to keep in mind if you are planning on getting this sweatshirt. There is another sweatshirt that I really wanted, but it's not even on the website anymore and they didn't have it in store. But it was Barbie and Ken and they have like this cow boy get up i thought it was so cute if you get your hands on that one i think that one's really cute too also got this um t-shirt which i wore on monday and i was gonna throw it in the wash but i was like let me just <laughs> let it sit out until i film this it's this pink barbie tee and i just like was obsessed because obviously pink is my favorite color but then i just love like the vintage vibe that they used for this tee so cute it says barbie it also says game love love actually buy junk food tees which i feel like they have really cute designs for their t-shirts when it comes to different fandoms i love this t-shirt and this is in a size large that's actually the only size they had in store i feel like i could have gone down to a medium because like i said i feel like the clothing is pretty oversized like naturally the last thing i got from Paxson was this visor it says barbie on it i don't know i don't really wear visors but i just thought it was so cute i feel like this would be cute for the summertime it would look cute with my little tennis outfits even though i don't play tennis i got a package from Stony Clover and they sent me their Barbie collection you guys I was not expecting this at all I've shown this on Instagram and TikTok so if you follow me there you have seen this a million times because I've posted about it so much I didn't think I would get this collection I think mainly because being a Disney creator like I feel like most brands just want to send me their Disney stuff so I assume the same thing for Sony Clover I never have received anything other than Disney from Sony Clover and so when I got Barbie I was like really excited because I did not think they were gonna send it to me at all it came with like this it says Barbie Sony Clover and it says on the back it says this collection is everything I don't know what I want to do with it but I do know that I need to save this because this is really cool like maybe I can put it on my desk somewhere not that my desk has any room honestly this fanny pack which is so cute from the entire Barbie collection my number one item that I didn't buy but I was so close to buying the collection came out when I was going to Disneyland and so I was like 
maybe I shouldn't spend money because I'm going to Disneyland right now and who knows what I'm gonna spend when I'm there. Missed out on the collection. I'm so sad that I didn't get this one item. It was the pink gingham mini. So freaking cute. It has like a little Barbie bee on it. This was the second item on my list, but I am happy that they sent it to me and I didn't pay buy it because I definitely was considering buying this. I just love the gingham and I love like the little like scalloping like that is really what sold me on this they my name on it in my favorite letters from Disney Clover the pearl um white if you look up close it has like a little b for barbie we have this keychain for some reason i thought it would be like acrylic um but it's like plasticky and it like kind of fold so super lightweight you are able to remove it so you don't have to keep the keychain on there but i do think it's cute to like have because this, especially this design, is very simple and it doesn't have anything like Barbie on it. It's just like a cute print. It's nice if like you want it to say Barbie, but you can also remove it if you're like, I don't want anyone to know it's Barbie. You totally can do that. So I did love that. This is like a hot pink kind of drop. This is a Jumbo Fanny, which I now have three Jumbo Fannies and I, no, I have four. I now have four Jumbo Fannies and I love my Jumbo Fannies because they fit so much. At first, when I saw the photos of this, I like wasn't really interested in it just because, you know, I don't really care for like hot pink, but the product itself is so good. Like, I don't know why I never cared to get one of these like open top makeup boxes because I just like use my small so much for makeup that I just didn't feel like I needed it. But this is like such a great option if you want to carry like a bunch of stuff. Like I think if you're going on a trip for like a week or so, this would be like the best way to carry your makeup. Usually my trips that I take are like a day or two so like I don't need that much makeup. But I feel like this would be so good or even if like you're a dancer and you need to like take your makeup to your competitions or something like i feel like this would be so freaking cute but it says barbie and they also put the uh, glam letters on it it just has a barbie print all over on the inside is really what like left me shook was these brushes like this brush holder at the top which i didn't know came in these open tops like i don't know if that's new or what but this is game changer because I usually use a separate pouch for my brushes and I feel like this would be just so much easier to have everything in just one, you know? And I think you can also fit smalls. I wanted to just like use it as storage and like fill like two smalls with your makeup. Um, then you could do that too just to keep it like more organized if you want because there's like no compartments in here. There's also like a little pocket here. Here it has like the little leather if you don't really like the barbie print like just this style i feel like is really cool next we have the large and i love a large heard that people like to use the larges as packing cubes and i want to try that on my next trip because i actually have like three or four larges at this point and so i'm like maybe i should just start using my larges and all of them are pink so i feel like it all like will match patch is for sure my favorite i just think the heart is so cute and on the inside is this like same print that's like on everything the uh, last thing they gave me was a mini and the flamingo it has like this Barbie patch on it, which is pretty cute. That's the end of my Barbie haul. Let me know if there's any Barbie collabs that you have been loving. I also thought the Gap one was really cute. I just felt like the Gap products were a little bit too expensive for me, so I didn't buy anything. Tomorrow, we will try the Krispy Kreme donuts or we'll try the Cold Stone ice cream. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's another day. I was supposed to film yesterday, which was Friday, and the day before, which was Thursday. I was gonna film us trying the Barbie donuts and the Cold Stone ice cream, but life has been so crazy. Just like work has consumed my entire life, which I feel like has affected my channel, unfortunately. So okay, next week is my last week of the summer camp, thank God, and then we can get back to more videos. Today is currently Saturday, and I thought we could just do both of them together. We could do the donuts and cold stone so we're gonna do both today but i wanted to do like some pink eyeshadow also let's talk about how the press tour is happening right now for the barbie movie and margot robbie has been slaying all her looks like all of her outfits are so good and they've been like recreating like original barbie dolls 
and I'm obsessed and loving seeing all her outfits and I can't wait to see what she wears to the premiere this weekend. I'm not going, but I'm excited to see the photos. <laughs> this is the uh, Lizzie McGuire palette from ColourPop. You know what's so funny? I've been like promoting this Barbie movie so much, just like I've been obsessed with like all the new merch and like obviously I'm making like this video. I've been making like videos on TikTok about it, but I literally have not watched the Barbie trailer yet like I only saw the first the very first trailer which didn't even give us anything I just kind of want to be surprised and like not really have expectations like on TikTok I've seen people like give what they think the movie's gonna be about like their theories now I'll be honest when I saw the first trailer I was like okay this looks really weird like I don't think I'm gonna watch this but I feel like from the amount of promoting they're doing like the movie can't be bad you know like who promotes a movie like this like with a million different collabs and makes a bad movie like that doesn't make any sense to me the movie has to be good and obviously we love barbie and we love pink i used these two shades for my eyes and then i'm gonna put this like kind of like on the lid barbie should have done a collab with color pop they done one before i feel like they should have done one like that would have been a really good one i don't even know if they did any makeup collabs i've been using the rare beauty mascara lately i got it for my last disney trip and i've been loving it i just need to get a full size one because this was supposed to be my travel one and currently it's the only mascara that i have so <laughs> i've just been using this one but i definitely want to get a full size one that way this one i can just use when i go on trips you know i just finished getting dressed and i started doing research on the Krispy Kreme donuts and you guys Krispy Kreme donuts are only available in the philippines and we do not live in the philippines so I'm glad I checked before because I literally would have showed up and would have been like, where are the Barbie donuts? And they would have been like, excuse you, we don't know what you're talking about. It's really sad because the pink glitter donut looks so cute and so good. So I'm really sad about that. So now the only other thing we need to do to complete this video is to go to Cold Stone and get some ice cream. But let me show you my outfit. I'm wearing my Barbie sweatshirt from PacSun. I love it. My first time wearing it. Just wearing like a plain white tank top because it is so cold and windy here and I'm just like tired of this cold weather. Like I want it to feel like summer and it doesn't. I am wearing shorts but I'm probably gonna regret doing that. Um, these shorts are from Wild Rena. You guys can use my code Cassie. I don't know if these are still available. These are from my clothing collection that I had with them last year. If you've been around a while, then you know. And then Air Forces, as always, because I don't wear anything else. Just got the Cold Stone Barbie ice cream. I got a small size, so they didn't give it to me in the pink Barbie cup. And honestly, when I look at it, it doesn't even look that good it just looks like a mess I'll try it I'm not like a huge ice cream person so who knows if I'll even like it it's like cotton candy which I'm pretty sure that's like the ice cream flavor it's just a whole mess like it's really dripping everywhere between this one and the froyo I definitely prefer froyo in general more so I definitely liked that one it's not bad it's just like a little much things that are like kind of crunchy in here too like I think it's like bread like some sort of like breading I would give it like a 7 out of 10 and I probably wouldn't ever get it again